This is the limited version of the F-150. And if we look at the 21 versus the 2022 model year, there aren't a ton of differences. Now, a few things though. So a few base colors are gone. So Velocity Blue's gone this year. Introduction of a few new ones for the 2022 model year. Looking at the configuration, it is only available in the Super Cruise. So the full four door version of the F-150, and it's only available with the short box. So you can only get the limited trim with that five and a half foot box. So if you're needing something a little bit bigger for work purposes, you need that six and a half foot or the eight foot box, you're gonna have to look at a step down. So you could look at the platinum version of the vehicle, the King Ranch, the Lariat, things like that. But you could load those things up so that they do have some of the similar features as this one. But the beautiful part about the Limited is what's going on inside of the vehicle as well. We've got a beautiful Admiral blue seat, which I think looks absolutely beautiful. Nice highlights in there. We've got like a faux carbon fiber look on the doors and a few other things. Looking at the wheels for the limited version of the F-150, it's just going to be these 22 inch aluminum wheels. So I think it looks great. You could do hydro dipping and things like that aftermarket if you wanted to change up the look, but you don't have the option for other tire sizes inside of the limited trim level of the vehicle. Strictly looking at a 22 inch for the actual rim and for the rubber itself. So that's definitely something to think about. If you wanted something smaller, you wanted something bigger, you've got to do look at some aftermarket solutions. In Canada, we're strictly looking at the four x four as an option. We're Whereas in the States, you could still get the Limited in either a 4x2, so rear wheel drive, or you can get it as a 4x4 instead. But this thing is fairly loaded with technology. Like as we start to move to the, for the front of the vehicle, we do have our forward sensing system. And the forward sensing system is great because we've got the adaptive cruise control. We've got that 360 camera as well. So we've got cameras positioned underneath the side view mirrors, one just in front in this beautiful grill there as well underneath the Ford logo and stitch that all together. That gives us a full 360 view. Now, one of the nice things about it is that with the active park assist system that we've got as part of this vehicle, like I said, we've got that forward sensing system, which gives us sensors along the side as well. As we're cutting closer to obstacles, we'll get some beeping inside of the actual center screen. So that sync for media screen. Now with the park assist system, the vehicle can help us out with both parallel and perpendicular parking. It can help us out with parallel park out as well. Now this thing does have the beautiful LED headlamps there. We've got our LED fog lamps, a few front tow hooks, and the grill. So the grill for the limited version, like there's no mistaking it. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And it works nicely with the limited badge right on the front of the hood there as well. But speaking of the hood, let's take a peek underneath and see what's going on. All right, now taking a peek underneath the hood, the F-150 Limited, it is actually, it's, it's kind of ironic. It's limited as to what engine choices are available for the vehicle. So I already mentioned that the configuration, we can only get the Super Crew configuration, so the full four door, but underneath the hood, we've only got two available engine choices. So we are either looking at the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, which is the engine that we're looking at here, but there also is the optional 3.5 liter power boost. So we could go one or the other, and that's going to dictate whether we just get the standard power on board we can upgrade technically to the pro power so a two kilowatt hour with the regular 3.5 EcoBoost or with the 3.5 liter power boost we'll have that 7.2 kilowatt hour battery instead but looking at the basic power in these things so the base EcoBoost engine is going to be able to push out 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque while the optional power boost is going to be able to push out 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque so there is plenty of power Power inside of either version of the vehicle. One thing to consider is that if you want something like the 5 liter V8 engine, you will have to drop down to a lower trim level in order to open that engine choice up as an option. But power wise, they're good. The turbo lag and the issues that people typically look at with turbocharged engines, they're not really there anymore. Like you put your foot down, you can kind of hear the turbo going before it goes, but it's not like it was 10 years ago. The lifestyle of the turbocharged engines, if you take care and maintain your vehicle, is great. And that's one of the issues and something that you've got to ask yourself as well. Like, are you the type of person to regularly maintain your vehicle? Because if you're not, chances are good you may have a vehicle or an engine that's not going to last properly. So it's like anything, you maintain this thing properly. And unless there's a crazy manufacturing defect, the engine should last. But taking a peek underneath, looking at this, we've got the 3.5 EcoBoost, so the cover up overhead, and it, it's just a small cover, so it doesn't take up too much of the engine bay there. But we are looking at the 3.5 liter twin turbo there. Access for changing the oil itself is a little bit more challenging in the back, but we can easily top up our windshield wiper fluid along the left-hand side here. Easy access to the battery as well. 
Now, the regular 3.5 liter EcoBoost, we've got a non-lockable cover for the actual gas itself. The Power Boost engine is going to be locked cover and that's got to do with pressurization. So there will be a little button just to the left-hand side of the steering wheel in order to be able to unlock that. So whether or not you get that option is going to depend on which version of the vehicle you've got, specifically that engine. Looking at the manufacturer's recommendation for the Octane, just regular 87 gas, 87 fuel is all you need to use inside these things. I sound like a kind of a little bit of a broken record though, because looking at the 3.5 EcoBoost and PowerBoost, etc., the numbers for horsepower and torque are achieved using a premium fuel. So do you need to use a premium fuel? Absolutely not. There are a few different things and scenarios where you'd want to though, like putting this thing under heavier loads, aggressive rock crawling and things like that. You might want to look at a premium fuel, but you will notice a difference in the horsepower and torque when you do. One of the other great things about the F-150 Limited is that it does have uh, power deployable running boards. Now, the running boards themselves are great. You do have the flexibility to permanently lock them down. You can permanently lock them up as well. So Canadian winters, etc. you might want to permanently lock them down just for slush and ice and things like that to make sure it doesn't kind of block these and block the path of the actual running boards dropping down. But you do have the flexibility to drop them down, keep them down, have them automatically raise up as well and they will also raise up automatically when you lock the truck and as you approach the truck and you go to open up the door we will have that running board drop down there as well and that's the same whether we're looking at the driver or passenger side Looking at a few other highlights of the limited version of the truck, we've got this beautiful chrome part of the tailgate, and that's literally one of the other ways we know that we've got a limited coming at us. We've got the hood badge in the front, we've got the badge along the back there as well. Now, a few things, we do have a reverse sensing system in our backup camera that are going to be standard there as well. We do have some clamps along the back there, and then this specific one does have the optional tailgate step, which means we can hop inside of the vehicle a little bit easier. Looking at the actual lift gate itself, we do have the option of setting it up so that it's just a manual release, but we do have that power release and that's power up and down. So we can double press a button on the key fob in order to drop it down. Look at that. Oh! And we do have the option of using the key fob to lift it back up again. And we can press the button just underneath. There's a button on the inside as well in order to be able to lift it back up. But one of the great things that came into the 2021 model year, we've got a finished back end of the actual lift gate itself. So we've got literal measurement units there. We've got a few bottle openers on both sides as well. There are some clamps in the back here. So if you need to cut some wood and things like that, you've got the flexibility to be able to do it. Now, Looking at the actual bed itself, we do have a few options in the back here as well. So this one obviously is unfinished, but we've got the option for either a spray-in or a drop-in bed liner, and you can get that directly from the factory if you wanted to. So whether you decide to do that or not is going to depend on what you're doing with the back of the vehicle. Like if you're never going to have anything in there, just leave it naked, leave it blank. But if you're going to be doing things like putting rocks in the back there, gravel, sand, uh, things like that, you're going to want to maybe look at the option with the plastic liner instead. It does make it a little bit easier to sweep it out to clean it down. There is the option for the spray and bed liner as well. Whether you got that through Ford or aftermarket is your choice. But here's the kicker. If you do it aftermarket, I have found it's about twice as thick as the factory liner, but the aftermarket, so my favorite is Linex, and that's about twice as thick as the factory liner, and it also has a lifetime warranty. So which way you go is gonna depend on you. That aftermarket Linex is about 100 bucks more than the factory solution, so it's ultimately your call there. But this one is the antimatter blue, and I absolutely love the look of the paint color here. In the back, we've got our LED tail lights there, which again, look really, really great. And one of the cool things about the limited version of the vehicle body color is pretty much everywhere so we've got our rocker moldings things like that everything is body color which is great i mean obviously without with the exception we've got a lip in the back here as well slightly different now there are some other accessories that are available for the f-150 we've got some options for tunnel covers there's a hard rolling there's a soft rolling there's some tri-folds and things like that We've got a few options. We've got some caps that you can get aftermarket as well. And then there are some other things like stowable loading ramps. So the loading ramps are great because if you've got ATVs and bikes and things like that that you need to transport, you've got that option either from the factory or aftermarket. I have put a video together on the loading ramps themselves, so you can check it out down below. But if you're considering getting the loading ramps, I definitely recommend getting it from the factory. We've got our LED bed lighting. We've got a light right up along the back there in that rear facing camera, which is great because we've got our reverse camera. We've got that bed camera as well, so we can see what's going on in the bed as we go. 
All right, now hopping inside of the limited version of this thing, it is absolutely gorgeous. We've got what's known as the Admiral Blue interior for this vehicle and the seats themselves, gorgeous. We've got a limited badge along the seat itself, like a diamond weave across the entire side of not only the front seats, but also those second row seats as well. And very similar to the rest of Ford styling, we do have the flexibility to be able to lift those seats up. We can lock them up. In the second row, we do have the option for the partition lockable storage, not standard in the limited trim level, unfortunately, but we will at least have a little bit of under seat storage there as a default. Now, there are a lot of other things that are gonna be available inside of this vehicle. And feature wise, like this thing is pretty much as packed as it's going to get. Like there still are a few options and add-ons and things like that that we can do here. But looking at just the overall styling of it, we've got a beautiful carbon fiber look and we've got this gorgeous blue leather along the door itself, be beautiful blue wrapped steering wheel. And we've got a gorgeous looking Ford badge with the limited badge on the actual wheel itself. We do have a full digital dash there as well. So digital cluster screen, which looks absolutely beautiful. But if you're looking for a walker on the steering wheel buttons and the screen, as well as that Sync 4 media screen, check down into the description below because I've put together some comprehensive videos on how all of these things work. One of the great things, it was introduced in the 21, late 21 model year and brought over to the 2022. We've got the auto engine start, stop, delete. So that is beautiful. It's actually funny looking at it now. The button itself is still there. It's just not clickable. It's locked into place and there's just nothing on there. But it is good to know that we do have the flexibility of removing that feature from the vehicle and we have to do it at time of ordering the vehicle from the factory. So if you've got one on the dealer's lot, they might be able to take it out, but you would look at getting that feature taken out directly from your order from the factory because you can save a couple dollars doing it versus having to pay more to get the feature removed later. So you do have some options there. We do have our full 360 camera inside of a limited version of the truck. We've got our park assist system, which the vehicle can help us out with parallel and perpendicular parking. And then we've got our traction control there as well. And then very similar to what we would see in the Lariat and even in the XLT, we've got our Pro Trailer Backup Assist and the Brake Controller there as well. And those are gonna be standard as part of some of the technology packages for the trailer system. Now, inside of the Lariat version of the vehicle and above, we do have our four auto mode as well. So the four auto mode is exactly that. It's gonna automatically switch us out to different modes just depending on what the vehicle recognizes that we need. We have a series of different drive modes similar to the rest of the F-150 lineup. So we've got things like our sport mode. There also would be things like our slippery mode, deep snow conditions and things like that with each mode doing something different. Very similar to what we'd see inside of the Lariat, King Ranch, etc. We've got our cruise, we've got all of our climate control settings there. We do have a wireless charging pad inside of this as well, which is great. There are a few USB ports in the front there. Inside of the console here, we've got two more additional USB ports. So four total USB ports there. We do have a few 12 volt, well, we've got a 12 volt power point, I should say, just a single one in the front. And we've also got another 400 watt plug here as well. So we've got a 400 watt plug here, 400 watt plug in behind the armrest, and then there's a 400 watt plug inside of the bed. Now that's obviously going to change just depending on which version of the truck you've got. So specifically the power in the Pro Power on board is going to be different. We've got that larger 7.2 kilowatt hour battery, which is going to give us a little bit more flexibility than just the base inverter inside of the truck. But overall styling, like I said, is absolutely beautiful. We've got this like carbon fibery type of look all throughout the dash itself, stretched across this hidden compartment area there, which is great. But I love the blue, like these small blue highlights are gorgeous. Up overhead, we've got this micro suede interior here as well. And then we do have the panoramic sunroof. And the panoramic roof is going to be standard inside of the limited version of the truck. So if you want an F-150 without the sunroof, you're looking at the platinum or below and just don't add it on as an option there. So you've got a ton of flexibility, but looking at the shifter itself, very similar to a lot of the F-150 lineup, it just holds the hand and grips the hand. You can grip it very, very nicely. We do have that same blue leather with the great stitch of white stitching there as well. Just looks sharp. We can power fold this thing as well. And then this one doesn't unfortunately have the work surface area, but if it did, this part. So this lifts up the one way in order to get access to the actual storage area there. We do have a little removable tray as well inside of the armrest, but if we had the option for the work surface area, we could literally take the opposite end of it and we can flip it up this way in order to create a flatter surface instead. So available as an option, I really wish that Ford had included it inside of the Limited, 
But I understand there were commodity constraints and things like that for the 21. So it makes sense that in the 22s, they didn't include that as an option as well. But it is available there if you wanted to get that. But overall, like impressions of this thing, it's beautiful. We do have the Sync 4 media screen, similar to what we see even in the base XL. Well, I shouldn't say the base because it's available in the, it's not available in the XL, but available in the 301 version of the XLT. So we will have this larger media screen. It's just laid out a little bit differently inside of the limited version of the vehicle. And there are a lot of other things that are included in this that you won't find in some of the other trims. So we've got the actual scale system inside of this as well. So a smart scale, which means that there is a scale inside of the bed. So we can figure out exactly how much weight we're carrying for our payload. And it does give us our max payload there as well. And is that something to consider? Like what is your overall payload? It's going to depend on how you have your truck configured and what the regular, what are the rest of the options are. So we do have a few different options for the actual payload itself, just depending on if we get the power boost versus the regular eco boost. But other than that, like there aren't a ton of extras that you can add into this truck because it is fairly loaded. Like we've got the smart scales, we've got the smart hitch receiver there as well, which can help us out with how to properly balance our load for trailers when we're hooking things up. So technology wise is great. We've got our forward facing camera, our rear camera, we've got our bed camera, and a lot of other great features that really put the limited version of the truck kind of at the top tier class. The limited version of the F-150 is only available in the Super Crew configuration, so the four full doors, which means that we've got dual captain chairs and we've got a bench for the second row. But overall, comfort-wise, like it's the regular Super Crew version of the F-150, so this thing is super comfortable, especially with these seats, like leather seats, and like the diamond encrusted in the back there is super, super comfortable. But a few things to point out back here, so overall, comfort is fantastic. Great amount of height in here, even with the sunroof. Like I've got about, actually about three inches of headspace here. Now, obviously, because we're the limited version, we do have this panoramic sunroof there, which fully open and closed from the inside. But unfortunately, in the back, we don't have the flexibility to be able to adjust things, open and close it, and things like that from this back row. But we do have quite a few other things that are standard inside of this. We do have a few pockets behind the driver passenger seat. There is also a 12 volt power point back here a series of other power points. Like we've got two USB ports back here. So a USB and USB-C. And then there also is a 400 watt inverter. So we could plug in a traditional wall outlet in the back here as well. We do have our heated seats and the heated seats are strictly gonna be for the outboard seats. So that driver passenger side, the middle seat, unfortunately, even in the limited trim level is not going to be heated. It would be nice if we did have ventilated second row seats there as well. So Ford, if you're listening, get that for the limited trim, at least the limited trim, that would be great. There are two cup holders just in the back of the armrest itself. And then in the seat, we also do have two more additional ones there as well. So two cup holders and up it goes. Now, a few other things to point out back here, the seats themselves. So for this back row, we can actually lift these whole seats up. So we do have a little tab in order to lift the seat there. And it, inside of the actual passenger side of it, it is going to be a power inverter underneath the seat. Underneath my seat, it's going to be a little storage area. Now there is still the option for the partition lockable storage inside of this thing, which means that we would have even more storage space and it is foldable. So we could literally fold it down and collapse it if we're not using it to give a little bit more under seat storage there as well. So you do have some options. Now, one of the great things, this seat, once it's up and actually both of them, they are locked into place. Now, looking at the seats in general, we do have a few hooks in the back here as well. So we do have our anchor and our latch system there. So we do have a few different options along the back of the seat, underneath the seat here as well. So if you need a front or a rear facing car seat. Uh, looking at the engine, as I mentioned, you've got a few different options there. We could either look at just the base, so the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. You could look at the 3.5 power boost engine instead and kind of kick yourself up a little bit of a notch because it's 30 more horsepower, like 70 pound feet of torque more. So it is plenty powerful there. So it's going to depend on what you need out of your truck and what you need this thing to be able to accomplish. But I personally, I love the power boost engine and the capabilities and what people are using it for. Like being able to take your business fully on the go, using your truck as a generator is always a nice thing. One of the beautiful things I love about the limited version of this truck, outside of like the heated ventilating seats, like we can get that in the Lariat as well. The massage chair seats are so, so nice. Overall though, this is nice. Like we've got, okay, there we go. All right, set speed there. So we've got the adaptive cruise control rolling literally as we're just kind of driving along, which is nice. Headrest, adjustable. Yes, very easily. Ooh, and we can pop it forward. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing to be able to do. 
off and like click it, pop it forward just for your own like head and neck position there. So that's really, really nice. I love the fact that we've got that inside of this vehicle. Not available in every, every trim level. It is available on some of them though, but having that flexibility is really, really great. Just want to change out the massage chair mode because we've got a few different ones. So it's in the recovery mode right now. So, ah, oh, nice massage to the lower back there. So, so nice. Which one you end up going with is, I always say it is going to depend on what your needs are personally. And if you're using it for business, whatever the case may be, because we're limited as to what we can do with the configuration here, because we don't have the option of getting the super cab. So the, uh, the two full door, two half, and we can't get the six and a half foot box either. So if the six and a half foot box is a must for your scenario, look at the platinum. You can add on the majority of the limited features as well. The trims are just going to be slightly different. Ah, it's impressive power. So nice. I'm like, I'm not even like really pushing the pedal down much right now either. Oh, that's really cool. 400 horses will do it. 400, here's the kicker, 400 horses, 400, 500 pound feet of torque, nothing in the truck whatsoever outside of my weight. So, I mean, there are, you know, I'm, I'm riding light, which is why it's so powerful. But I mean, at the same time, you're towing, you know, a 10,000 pound trailer with like all your goodies and things like that in there. It still actually does get surprisingly good mileage, specifically with the the EcoBoost engine. So it is actually one of the more. You look at the Power Boost, I should say. The Power Boost engine is like night and day as to the fuel economy and the performance of it. Like I am surprised how good the fuel economy is in the Power Boost version of the truck. So that's something that you have to work into whether or not it would make sense. You look at you know the fuel economy for the truck, you look at what you're typically gonna to be towing and things like that as well, and use it in the overall calculation of whether or not this thing actually makes sense to buy. Well, folks, that was a look at the Ford F-150 Limited. What did you think? I love this thing. The overall styling, I'm a huge fan of blue, so the Admiral Blue look in this, I am in love with. But share your thoughts down below. What did you think? And is this the truck that you think you could see yourself in behind? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your social networks. Think about subscribing. And until I see you next time, take care.